staring off into the sky above us. I wonder, will we get everything we need to get in this first video? Hi everyone, it's SK95. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, we managed to get up to Agartha and got to the third tower. Let's get rid of the last of them. So there's a lot of enemies running around, so offensive raiders are going to be a bit of a pain still. Keep an eye out. You want to get rid of the Braves first because they're very annoying and they jump into fights very frequently. So you want to get rid of them first. Let's do this. So when it comes to enemy fights like this, I will cut these out in case there are fights I don't care about. So like this one, for example, is decently unimportant. So whatever. Multi hits do a lot more crits, so I'd rather risk that than anything else. We're almost done with this. Ironically enough, we're actually almost done with this area entirely. Another new part of L, I believe. Yes, that is correct. Exterminators give you the L, so I might as well kill it. Thank you. Whatever. That's dead now. Luisa Silver. Ooh, I got two of them now. I am almost there. Anyway, and smaller Telethia again. Let's go check this. We got a lot more Telethia to go before that quest is complete. There's other enemies we need to fight around here, by the way, and there's one in particular. Whoa, actually, there's an item drop here. Let's go grab it. A group spring, we need four of these more. This is a giant Rather Orbos. I believe it's one of the Arthurian legend. I know Boreas is like the uncle of Lancelot in the previous video, so yeah, pretty much. Oh no, Ricky. Oh no, Ricky. Okay, good. Ricky did not do the dumb move. Although Ricky is not dumb. Get up. There we go. Very easy. Confusion. I love when the enemies get confused because they have no idea what they're going to do. Do it again. He is staying confused and he will like it. Alright, we're getting closer in this fight. Confusion resetting is incredibly hilarious to me. Oh jeez, AP again? Oh my god, a chainsaw. Thanks, Ricky, for helping Dumbman. Ricky, Dumbman think we will heal from critical hits, but it's not as easy. Really, Ricky? You got this twice. What the heck? Well, on change deck, by the way, you can actually stop the enemy from moving if it's confused, so I recommend doing that so we it stops this movement. Gun drones do more damage because talents do more damage naturally. Unless you can't sort of Shore Drive plus Magnum Charge plus Berserker. That is still the most damaging move you can do in one go. I am not kidding. Alright, we're getting more of this out of the way. It's. I probably should give Dumbman new arts! Must you roly poly something, Ricky? Oh, jeez, a vision. What if the vision changes? Hey, let's change that vision, shall we? Let's do something stupid. Because I want the damage buff, and it's a little bit more interesting to have a damage buff. So, damage buff is activated. Slash. So, a little bit sad, but I'd rather have the damage buff off, so it's a bit easier on me. I think this is almost dead, by the way. Die. You didn't even get it off on Dumb Man, you idiot. There we go. It took a bit of a time compared to the last time. So, let's check this chest. Mechanist F2, 3, and a Lord Leggings. I keep getting those Lord Leggings. Jeez. No offense, but I really don't need the Lord Leggings. They are not needed. Might as well check to see what they give. HP of 4, but plus weight. However, Dumbben has naturally minus 15 weight. So technically speaking, this is fine. There we go. Dumbben now has 6,000 HP for whatever reason. Ryan got access to haste when an attack misses. So... If you decide to fight higher level enemies that have more speed than you, and you can just do that and you get more haste. It resets every 30 seconds though, so you have to watch out for it. 
There is one more tower we need to get to. However, it's the other side of the map. Upside here instead. A word of warning, because enemies have to drop certain items. I have to reset the entire map all the way. So the worst part is, I actually have to restart the whole thing from scratch. I am not kidding. It's very annoying. Thankfully, though, when you start the game, it doesn't worry too much. Juicy Blueberry. I don't know how it's there. Whatever. Tell a bridge. Let's go across it so we can actually get to the top here. Dumb Ben, did you just fall off a cliff? Really? Bella Flower Crystal. Okay, let's cut these enemies out because I don't need to deal with them right now and they're a waste of my time. Down this way, I believe, there is nothing of interest. Okay, this is actually a tower I need to go and finish this off. Dios Tower is the last one. So, yeah. Going through Agrithra is stepping in a somber area. Is one of the... I say the area is probably one of my more favorite areas in terms of story progress because of how important this is to the story. And we got a knife. I was prepared in case Ricky accidentally toppled it again. Did he just say that? Retrieve. Okay. New part L. We already got new part L's we don't need anymore. Finally, the last control platform. And Dumbman leveled up again. Sheesh, he levels up way too quickly. Well, the quests are now complete. I completed pretty much everything in this area, exception being the items required for Collectopedia and also the enemies we need to drop. So, a lot of this will be cut around because, outright speaking, I know for a fact that no one wants to watch me just go after enemy fights in order to get more experience or anything else nonsensical. Because this area is so massive. The story continues as soon as you get all the towers, by the way. So, if you decide to go there early and where the actual shrine is located for the transporter, you will be technically going to continue the story. So, do not go that way, if you will, and not to continue the story. We're going to try not to continue the story in this video because, outright speaking, I'd like to try to get everything in this area. Plus, I need to get Dumban to hire Affinity of because it's a pain in the neck, but I have no choice. Cutting Slice was useless. There we go. Now the story, technically I was wrong about that. The story will not continue until you go back to the area again. I am not kidding you, that's how it works. Spicy banana. So, technically speaking, you can go up there no matter what you want, and you'll be fine. Just a fair warning is if you go back there and activate whatever is up there, you're going to be forced to fight something. To continue the storyline. There's a defensive shame here. For shame, shame. In fact, for so much shame, I'm playing this out. New World M finally leveled up again. Alright, the Telethia over here, by the way is not required for the quest, so don't worry about it too much. Just keep an eye out when you need to jump down here in order to get their Aerith Blue. I don't know why an Aerith Blue item is located, but whatever. Louisa Silver! I actually have all the Louisa Silver I need now. Let's have to collect the Pia for now. We're getting close. I just need two more items before we complete the Collectopedia. Now, there's a unique monster over here known as a Sentimental Farmari. There is radars on the side of it. Technically speaking, you don't have to fight this, the unique monster with both of them at the same time. So, wrong. Technically speaking, these guys will fight by themselves without the unique monster. So it's recommended to do this so that way you don't have to fight them at the same time. And honestly, I'd recommend it more because it's a bit annoying to fight them at the same time. Okay, I forgot they're not the unique monster. It's dead. And level for Ricky. A little for the hero pond. All right, finish this off quickly. Confusion. World of the strike. I just really need to <laughs> Okay, game. Shh, this is getting stupid now. I understand Ricky gives me a three percent buff, but that's stupid. 
Agni played Nargus Arms. All right, all right, all right, game. We know your luck is stupid. Slash, your luck is stupid. SP95, your luck is automatically stupid. All right, whatever. This guy is a big pain because he is the same enemy type as those annoying enemies you fought on the way up to Mechanics. They are very damaging, so keep an eye out for the damage output because, especially given the fact that they still have the same attack, the chop. However, they do not contain a topple spike, so you're actually fine at topple. I'd rather wait him before they do a decently strong attack. They're not doing it. Alright, whatever. Chain attack. On a chain attack, they can actually topple. So let's just do that. Let's do break. We do break already, so let's do a topple. I was only aiming for that because outright speaking, I know for a fact that the Lord Boy might not succeed on me, so I'd rather not risk it. Let's do another one, so we can actually do more damage. Let's do that, and do that, and then do this, so we can actually increase our damage output. Experience gained. Man, that's a lot of experience for me. Alright, Dumban, can you get the aggro better? Come on. Actually, you have an aura. Why don't you just use that instead? I actually am the only one being targeted. In fact, I have aggro down. How the heck am I still being targeted? Thank you. That was very bothersome. So let's do Worldly Slash and lower your defense. That will win your history. Please be dead. Aww. Yes, Slash. There we go. It's all dead. Good job, everyone. Very easy, actually. That's actually one of the easier fights I've dealt with. This chest contains eight. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening okay game sure sure why not drive boost for charla and sneaky for ricky okay in the previous time i recorded this i did it over an hour if you haven't seen that video i'll put a link up i mentioned i re-recorded it because it was too long this happened twice what is with my luck Okay, well, Ricky now finally has the ability to use his arts. Let's just upgrade this to max, because it's stupid. Ah, oh, I missed. <laughs> Whatever. That's so much damage on Ricky. Holy crud. A drive boost is an art that's a bit useful. It reduces the cooldown on healing arts. All arts except drive boost, but... Outright speaking, it's a little bit risky given the fact that Sharla gets more talent gauge the more art she uses. However, if you circumvent that and use Drive Boost at the same time, you can actually do a lot of arts. However, as you can definitely tell, it upgrades depending on how much. So let's say, let's go up to, say, you can technically lower up to 50%. The highest you can get is, I believe, 65% or 60%. It's a very good art, however, the downsides are still there and present. You will not be able to auto-attack. So, keep an eye out. The Worship Terrence is... Terrence, I believe is the proper name, is where you need to go next. However, the teleport will not activate until you go back up to the main room again. Shrine Transporter, then we have the teleport drip location. Uh, really? That happened twice in this area. And my gold chest luck is still present, so I don't know what's going on. Legislative district, I don't know how this is a legislative district. There's barely any houses for legislation. Souved Eglove is actually located here. All of them will fight you at once if you fight that guy at once, but it's a bit recommended to get it out of the way now rather than later. Alright, let's just get. You know, let's go to the grants first because they're a bit more annoying. So, yeah. Gun drugs. Amateur wall. What? Didn't I just use it? I just used it. Now I have a bat. Okay. Sneaky. If you're surrounded by enemies like this, best option: soaring down. Wow! I got rid of one of them already. You know, future me, look up the chances for that dumb art book because I know their chances are separate. Awesome dance. Alright, there we go. I was waiting for the Wazzle Dance to finish. 
Ah, come on. Gale Slash. This does lead them into opportunity to use Electric Dust on her. Hopefully, top of the team. Dang it. Alright, this guy's gonna be a pain in the butt combo. So we're gonna have no choice to use a chain attack and we're gonna get the same combo. Thankfully those particular hits increase our chances on the chain attack. So yeah. Breath. There we go. We got the top one. Naked lock is annoying because you're locked on as well as the fact that you're on top of it. You have to lock, worry about lock on it here, so that's a dangerous art. Stop. Days. There we go. I love the remix for Xenoblade Chronicles of Benefit Edition's remix of You Know Our Names because it's so good. Alright, let's steal enough of this, so we're almost done with this guy. He's actually almost halfway through. I usually do this to start out so I can actually get my tension up high enough, but it's technically better to do it than I do. But right now, we're fine. Ricky was trying to do Saints on it. Alright. A little bit slash. Lost some dents. I have Why did I say World of Slash? I'm still on that. Alright. Will you please die? Yes, Ricky, you are so handsome. Advanced lenses. All right, let's see what we got from this chest. Machina Rod 2 and Agris Plate. All right, whatever. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but that's fine. You see a lot of those dots. They're just enemies. So, yeah, that's a lot of things dealt with. I'm still on that still. All right, take this game out. Fairy Dioid, I have a few more to go. Uh, yeah, Fairy Dioids are always the most painful ones of the bunch. Small Telethia is the last one right here. Quest is complete. Now we've investigated every single Small Telethia. There is actually another level we need to go after. Then back to the main area. Oh, a drop. Great Spring. Nice. There's another one over here that requires us to investigate the large Telethia next. Now, the game is going to be a bit of a mean one because you got to go after the one that is actually in the front of the area. I am not kidding you. It's a very annoying quest. So, yeah, these beautification quests are probably the most annoying one of the bunch because considering the fact that you have no choice but to go after items that you stinking hate. The downside is, is when you have this happen, but there's no more items on the field. I am not kidding you. If there's no items in the field, the game will actually say, hey, you can't find it. The only way to get the items to respawn back in, outright speaking, are two methods. One, you leave the area entirely and come back. The enemy gains will reset the all items drops so that way you can get back again. The other is to save the game and reload back from your last save point. You can circumvent this by using the autosave in case you don't want to risk losing your save data. That way you don't have to worry about worrying about your normal save data in case you want to get keep something but you forgot it. So the large Slithia are very annoying enemies to go after, so let's go up top. I can go to the first control platform and just go up here instead. So there is those master's faces, so be careful, of course. Right. Fine offensive brave, I'll kill you, cutting this out. There we go. Bronze chest. Any S's? Again, I have two more to go. Blue light ramp. Amp. Not ramp. Scissor bug. I think this is the glow. Fairy die right again. Yeah, it is. Experience Tristan. Okay, the entire guys are reset back up. Okay. You know what? I'm rather off just killing the Ember Exterminator first. I'll cut this out because it's not needed. We actually do so much damage that we get the aggro quickly. Okay. Wow, Ricky and Yora are red. In Affinity, that's actually good. There we <laughs> Game, you're just a comedian. Lock on! Alright, 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 alright. This is getting silly. 
Now this is getting silly. Get your butt over here, Tristan. I need to kill you so you don't get this guy aggro. Okay, game. I'm getting too many art books in one video. Alright, that's dead, and now these guys are leaving me alone. What's in this chest? Argus played in Helm. Alright, sure. I wasn't too concerned about it. Anyway, Scar, I need to get this guy out of the way first. Because mainly my main thing was trying to get new part S's because this is a pain. Thank you. This is actually the best way you can get new part S, and I'm not kidding you. It's really just the best way you can get them because that's just obnoxious to get after. Ah, damn it. Offensive Brave, go away! Now! You're obnoxious. Fine! Fine, I'll just kill you and your brethren. You're not very funny. There we go. You're very annoying. Does it not realize how annoying it is? Missing tree. Okay, whatever. Air flu. Let's see if the Collectopedia is maxed out. I am missing one. I can almost taste it. Yes, I must use that joke. It's funny. Ooh, and wind ether gear. Perfect for me. Alright, break with crystals. Okay. Skill links. Of course, Ricky finally gave her more skill link. Movement speed. Very useful for her. Ricky can get after. Reduce ether damage taken. That's good for Ricky because he needs to be more tanky. Now, Melia learned the next one is Chill Duration. Next, I want Ultimate Ether. What's the 200 for? Sharing the knowledge. I guess it's more Collectopedia. More links. Yeah, pretty much. So, there is another one over this way that the game is telling you to go after, and I'm going to do that right now. One of the Lethia is actually located around here, so I'm gonna need to go after them in order. Okay, there. Can't go for that dread because the dread actually will not give us what we need, so we have no choice but to go this way. Lethia, there we go. So Lethia bridge done, and this is where the Boris was located. Unironically enough, the unique monster respawned back in, so you can actually go after the guy if you need to. You know what? I think I will do that and just cut it out because I already killed him the first time. I don't need to show off killing him the second time. It's not exactly needed for me to show him off killing the same guy twice. Future. You are terminating our own future. You're dead. Okay. That's time left. Another gold chest for me. Well, that's good for me. What did I get from this one? Ruby glasses. Ooh. That's the one you can get normally back when you went to the... That was back during the Alchemoth incident where you went into the caves. Where you wanted to get her... What? Is it? Oh, come on! Offensive Brave, you are offensively annoying. You seriously went over this way just to smack me. Alright, alright, I get it. Tell this out, because I hate this thing. What the? You gotta be kidding me. One of them spawned at the Blasted Shrine. <laughs> okay, game, whatever. Just kill these shames. That was annoying. Ay -ay -ay. You know, I might as well kill the Flurmy again and see if I get some stupid luck again. Because I know the enemy unique monsters have at least four art books in total. Each one of their own rates. I am not kidding you. If you want to go after art books, this is your best opportunity to go after the art books of these enemies. Because they are a pain. Unnecessary, but more experience is experience. Cliff. All right, sure, why not? All right, game. Did I get the chest item or did I not? Not gonna drive her to an Argus Arms. All right, whatever. Pointless. So there is a bit of a kerfuffle now. I can't exactly go after an item that I cannot grab. I am not kidding you. It's how it works. So, the worst scenario, case scenario is I have to restart the entire area. So, Offensive Brave, 
Please die in a ditch. There we go. Got a small. I need to get the last new part smalls. Now I've got all the new parts smalls. I just need to get the last items I need. The last items, of course, are civil protections, which I need to kill some more haste and kill another Skiar. Thankfully, though, those enemies are actually located next to the data cent central tower again. So I can just do that here. It's not exactly hard for me to get to this central tower area, and I know these guards are down here. So, yeah, I'll cut this out because it's not needed to show enemy fights. This is just fights for money. However, these quests are time quests. So, keep an eye out. Eager, eager, eager. Haste, haste, haste. Dramatic. That's the last one for Collectopedia, if I believe. There we go. Good grief, that was annoying. Juicy blueberry, sweet lime, spicy banana. Gives you an auto heal up for three. It's a decent ability, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you know for a fact you can stop yourself from fighting. Lose a silver. Now you have all the lose a silver we need for the colony six. Top resist four. Very good item in case you need to revisit topple. All bugs give you access to ether defense up four, fortune feather, and a missing tree. Either defense down four is good in case you want to lower enemies ether defense and you're using ether teams, so very good. Grave Spring, so unfortunately that means I lowered the amount. Days are just so yeah, very good. Dramatic Knight, and finally the air of blue. Gives you attention swing three, which shrinks attention and range so it can change. For 100% Angertheria is access to debuff resist 4. This increases resistance to all debuffs. So you want to stop yourself from getting debuffs, this gem is incredibly useful. If you're using a character that says really does not need to get debuffed, like Shulk for example, you can do this and you can actually get yourself safely. So I think I'm going to give Shulk the Retrieved gear. Or I should give him the Agress Helm. I don't think I want to give Shulk that. The yeah, clones are pretty much your next step afterwards, so let's get the shoes to Shulk. I think I want to give him the defense that he requires. Because either defense is a pain in the butt to run into. No wonder Dumban is not maxing out his ether defense. He's just not getting it. All right, let's get agility up because really, Dumban needs it most. There we go. Agility up is now at maximum, so now I can actually, you know, dodge attacks of him. Acolone gloves, so let's give him the arp that he lost. I think it was spite defense. All right, good enough for me. So let's kill these enemies. I'll cut this out. That was obnoxious. I did not need that. Seriously, I know for a fact that thing will attack me automatically. Anyway, another Great Spring. We need more. So, a downside, as I noticed. The last one is located up there, so we have to go back up there for the Telethia. So, we might as well just go to the Telethia first. And then I'm going to basically cut and reset constantly in order to get access to a certain item. Because I know for a fact that item is going to be a pain in the neck to grab. Because these drop items are a pain. Hey, did he spawn back in again? No? Oh. There's a lot of item shots, by the way, over here, in case you're wondering, so yeah. Telethia has ordered. Now we got the next Telethia located. Drop down here, I believe, is a location requiring a fire eater gear. Alright, that's good enough for me. I need initial tension and stuff. Rise Grimmery is a pain in the neck. He is similar to the Mordred, so... Mordred's gonna be a bit more annoying, actually. Mordred's actually gonna be devastatingly comfortable. I just realized I totally have to do that before anything else. So, my recommendation, if you want to topple it outright, is use a combination of both Ryan and Dumban with Fiora. You can use Shulk as well if you want to do that, because you can stop the spike outright. But it's a little bit more risky, given the fact that Shulk's HP is naturally low. So, let's try to hit Wise Grimmery and hope we can get it. Let's hope these guys back so we can actually hit them. There we go. Because you can tell I'm losing HP from hitting him. 
Break. Wall down. Now it's Daisy who's a hit you, keep you wall down. There we go, Dumbman is now unable to do anything else, so I gotta use Gale Slash. And use Shield Bash in order to continue the daze. Because now it's gonna stay stunned for a while. I am not kidding you, this is actually insanely good. Because the AI loves going for topple so much on an enemy that has no topple rebound, so it's actually safe for it. As you can tell, the amount of topple length is insanely good. And we're also back up to a chain attack again. There we go. Let's continue the topple walk because honestly speaking, this is the safest recommendation I have for anyone when coming to an enemy that has a natural spike. Resetting the topple is the base way of making sure they do not do any single bit of damage. Although, wasting your time on Demon Slayer is a bit annoying. Wise Grimmie is probably one of the more annoying enemies to fight. Nowhere near as bad as the Mordra that's going to be fought later. I'll be honest, I'm going to probably cut to that fight in a future. Because I know for a fact that fight is impo near impossible to paint. Alright, there we go. Daze again. Daze again. Deal strike again, and wild down again. Rinse and repeat. Go to steer blade. Deal slash. I could continue that, but I'm going to use sword drive. Gun drones, you're dead. That was easy. That's the easiest way you can technically deal with wise grimly. No offense. Machina Garter 3 and a Machina Biter 3. Hmm. This guy naturally has HP steel slots, so HP steel is interesting of a gem. Let's go look at it. Chance of successful attacks will recover HP. So the more attacks you do, this HP steel actually will activate. Let's see if we can get it, because HP Steel, in theory, sounds incredibly good. Let's see if we can get more than one. Come on, five. That was the lowest amount we could possibly get. Dang it. 20% probability that auto attack recover 98% HP. In theory, it's good. 25% though, not so much. Let's put Ricky back in the party. Why do I have Ryan still in the party? I want Dunban. So, we've run into a little bit of a situation. I don't have the max affinity required for Dunban to outright get access to his max affinity with Fiora. However, I am almost there. For Fiora in particular, she likes festivals. Vegetables. So, let's see if we can give her vegetables that will definitely help her. Cool potato. Wasabi. There we go, Pink Affinity. That was annoying to go after. Pink Affinity gives them access to the full chain link that you can get with Dunban and Fiora. Now we can also give ourselves an HP buff at the start of battle. However, I probably would not recommend that on Fiora because it's not needed as much. Dunban would probably benefit the most if you get Party Gauge or you want to increase movement speed. But the best one in the entirely is Darn Double Deck to Critical Hits. So, now we can actually get access to that one stinking battle we need to get. So, actually, I'm going to save you all the trouble and just do this first and get cut to head so we get the greatest breaks. Because I like to get some fights out of the way so we can actually get ourselves strong enough for the fight ahead. Because the next main chapter boss fight is horribly evil. Kick to the gut. Let's see what I get from this chest. Racking up late. Uh, I, was hoping for, I was hoping in vain for something, but alright, whatever. Actually, the HP boosters are decently worth the effort. That's a... Nah, I'm just going to do what I said I was going to do and restart all the way back to the very beginning. Well, not restart all the way back to the beginning. You know what I mean. Restart so we actually, you know, the items drop back out correctly. So, I'll be right back. Eventually. So, as luck would have it, I got the Fairy Dioids actually showing up. But the other ones, the Great Springs, require another reset. I am not kidding. So, it's a very annoying thing that you have to do in this area. 
and I hate it for that very reason. As much as I like this area, atmosphere and all, it's a pain in the neck when you have to go after these items. So, yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why I get very annoyed when it comes to item drop quests that require an item drop to respawn. There is one next to this haste administrator. If you're playing this on your own time, yeah, that's different compared to my playthrough of your playthrough. So, let's get that quest completed. Fine, more money. I want to get all of them because there's a requirement for that. Alright, do it again. Be right back. Ah, finally got the last two great springs around this area. I just have to go find, grab them because they're annoying. They have statue is the next area I want to get to, so we can actually go after them. So, yeah. I forgot to go after the scars. Might as well kill this one to get out of the way. Oh no, three enemies. Whatever shall I do? Oh, wait. There we go. Money! I don't know how the Mac can have the money still, but I guess they do. I don't know why these machines still have terminals have the money, but whatever. Stop and give me money. Skill learned. So, almost done with this red. This is going to be very quickly. Alright, there we go. That was annoying, but we're finally, and I mean finally, done with this area to a bit. We have the pink affinity we wanted for Dunban and Fiora, which is something I needed to get, because outright speaking, there's a heart to heart, it's missable. And we also collected every single one of Agiritha's quests. Now, the last requirement, of course, there is being one more quest. I forgot about this one. But Telethia Investigation is the last quest we have left. So, the big one I forgot to get is the one that I went after first time, but because I restarted, it technically did not... Actually, not restarted. I completely forgot to grab it. I might as well grab it now and avoid the cycle, hopefully. I, there we go. Investigation like terminal ordered. Quest completed. Every single one has been investigated, and I've managed to get experience for that. There was a new skill unlocked. Who unlocked that skill? I think it was Dumban. He is close. Increases aggro draw when dealing damage. That means Dumban will finally get the aggro and not Fiora for once. You want my advice? You want to get this to Ryan? I would recommend it given the fact that Ryan benefits from getting aggroed. However, warning is the fact that if you take too much damage, of course you'll die. Now this can have a little control terminal. We'll have something for us. All issues resolved. Now issuing key. Enjoyment of magnificent view. Mandatory. Bluster key. Let's go and check that magnificent view. We're almost at the top, finally. That took a bit of time, but we're finally here. We can activate these doors finally and go open. Reaching the view that the game wanted us to see. And the only area that's actually... Oh, that's good. And the only area that actually, in this area, that has a secret area. Seven Sage Cloister. Which is an incredibly beautiful area, I will admit. So, yeah, this is your reward for getting every single one of them. And I'm glad to have that reward. Because that, that view is just great especially if you get it before you get all the towers because then the lights aren't in the way let's read the last door and then open this last one let's activate this and the shutters are finally open the transporter is now ready we can actually head over there and end that off. However, before we do that, of course, I need to go back to Fallen R because there's a heart to heart that's completely missable if you don't do this. So, by the way, back here, I forgot to mention, there's also the quest for Zelix. You might as well complete it here. Have you found the chips? Yes, that looks like all of them. I'll set them up right away. I've checked their content. There are some memories that cannot be restored to the damage, but most of them have been recompiled successfully. 
Oh, what a relief. Another problem solved. Excellent work, Fiora. You ought to be proud of yourself. No, it is too early for that. After all, we still have lots to do. Now the villagers can retrieve their villagers can retrieve their memories of those times. Please see them for yourselves to learn more about us. Oh, please forgive me. I have something for you, by the way. Thanks for helping us. Your reward for finishing this time quest is a paralysis resolves a gem which inflicts paralysis. Local hero, this means you've reached guess what? Six star affinity with the entirety of the hidden machina village. Five star affinity. So we got all of the affinity for hidden machina. There are more quests around the area, but there's one heart to heart I wanted to finish. This is the heart to heart for a family of two. This is entirely missable. Hey, Fiora, can a big brother ask his little sister a question? Sure, dumb man. What is it? Has that body of yours really healed? Since you had that checkup, you haven't said a word about it. Don't be silly. I'm clearly much better now. It does look that way. But you're like me. You'll put up with anything and keep silent. So I'm saying you don't have to. If you're in pain, be honest with me. You caught me. I knew it! So tell me about it. I'm alright at the moment. I can't feel any pain. But I cannot hold out forever. So your body is giving up. Did you talk to Shulk or any of the others about this? I haven't told anyone else yet. How can I? I couldn't stand it if they were worrying about me. I can see what you mean. I know how it feels. It wasn't long ago that I was out of action. There's more to it than that. What's this all of a sudden? I mean, you know better than anyone what state I was in. Yes, but this is a completely different situation. Fiora, I... Do you realize what happened to me? I never I'll never get to grow old with the ones I love. This is why I could stop functioning next year or even next... Or, next, or any time for all I know. I'm sorry, I guess I overstepped the mark a bit. But I still think you'll feel better if you talk about this, all this. No, I won't, Dunban! Wait, are you making me angry on purpose? I'm not good with words. I never said the right say the right thing. That's why I figured making you blurt it out is the easiest way. You know, I'm sorry I was so rude to you just now. You're right. I do feel a little better getting it off my chest. Good. That was what I hoped. When you are feeling and following up, you can use me to sound off. I'll be your own personal punching bag. Then you better be ready. I think I have a lot to say. Thanks, dumb man. That was the last missable heart to heart for you can get to this. So, technically speaking, there is no more quests around the area that are missable on Fallen R. We've gotten every single one of them. There is a quest actually located over here I forgot to grab. I believe that quest is the quest line that requires the parents. At least off memory. I might as well check. Yeah, Tim. Hi. When my mom and dad fight, Zilix lets me hang over. her. When I'm feeling down, I go talk to her, and she just listens to me. She looks so cool. She's like my idol and my friend in one. I wish I could be more like her. Kid, I want to give you your stuff. You know what I need to fix the keepsake? You've got even the things that I need? Wow, you guys are so nice. I think I'm going to cry. Finally, I can fix this stupid keepsake of theirs. Mom and Dad were so happy that they cried and hugged. Finally, they made up and we can go back to being a normal family. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to you guys. Oh, what a relief. Another problem solved. Ricky's friends did it. Five cheers for Hero and his trusty sidekicks. My family is back together and not arguing. I hope it stays like this until the end of time. Quest completed. This is the last visible quest. Amber Rod is your reward for this. It's technically worse still than the Imperial Rod, given the fact that it has less slots. So, yeah, five-star affinity of the entirety of a colony is incredibly different. Your reward for doing this allows you to get access to a certain trade. It's the next, I believe, has the item we need. Welcome. Found you. You have the Red Frontiers that I'm looking for, as well as the Darkstone Foxglove, which is a pain in the neck to find. If you're missing this item, this is the best place to get them. You need two Red Frontiers for this quest. For the actual need necessary requirements needed for you know colony six now you have two of them 
There's another heart to heart here. We can't do it yet until we have Fiora and Charlotte together. And I'd rather not do two heart to hearts at the same video because it's a little bit easier on me to do it. Let's get back to Agartha instead. That was annoying. Finally, we're done with that one. Argus agrees for effect defense for three. That's at least useful. All right, whatever. I wanted to get that out of the way. Although, I think I'm going to just off-screen grind a certain enemy. Because I know for a fact he exists. Because I know these art books are completely missable if you don't go after them, but... Eh. You know what? Whatever. I'll just do it right now. Get your foot over here, Radar. Let me get you out of the way. <laughs> game. Not bad at all. Not bad. Dream Edge? Okay, game! Okay, now. Lock on a stream edge. Okay, now Shulk has stream edge higher levels. Okay, first things first, battle soul, because I need battle soul. 52% is at least way too useful for me, so yeah, stream edge gives increased break time for it. That's the only advantage you get out of it, so keep an eye out. So, yeah. Let's just get shield up to six. I recommend that at the point. Speed at five sounds like useful. All right, let's take care of that. I was not expecting stream edge of all things. I was about to end it off, but man, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Again, game? Come on. What's with my stupid luck? I understand it's a 3% increase on Blasted Ricky, but come on, it's not that broken. Uh, sorry about that interruption, Leafy. I got interrupted because of something. Whatever. That was very bothersome. Let's get this out of the way. Matt Ruby Glasses again. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so let's see what this one that gave us. Sleek Glasses gives you nothing. It's just as cosmetics. Ah, oh, something for Boreas to return. <laughs> Boreas, come on, buddy. Sword Drive! Ho oh, ho! I did not think that would drop up from that art book, but man, Ryan, now you're gonna enjoy this, cause Sword Drive goes up to level 10. How high does it go, you may wonder? Well, we are about to get that. 7,000 at max. Oh, nuts! That's incredible. So yeah, getting up to the art book's nonsense, down to a fine art is multiple arts getting level 5. This area has missable ones, so I wanted to do this for the sake of it. Plus, I'm grinding out the art so I can actually, you know, get certain ones. Because I know for a fact certain ones are available for me. Another cure round. You don't get anything if you have more than one art book. So, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters with the art books after you get the second copy of it. Is it just needed to get more. So, I'm going to do the smart strategy and just... Get everything I need to get out of the way. Because there is one more unique monster I want to go after. White Serene is not needed for anything, but... Alright, let's go after this guy. Alright, smack him. Majestic Mordred is a very painful enemy because it has flamethrowers. Okay. Get off. I really wish we'd use Cure Round on him, because that'd really be helpful right now. Alright, that's it. If you're not going to do it, I'm going to do it, because I know for a fact that debuff is sucky. Alright, that's it. Got that. There we go. As much as I don't like wasting certain arts, I need to do that because it needed to get rid of the debuff now. Charlotte can heal her HP up very easily. Probably should have gotten myself here around. Whatever. It is more is actually very quickly falling apart, but it's not as easy as you think. Because the Jason Mordred still has Titan Stamp, which is my least favorite art that he has. And I think it's doing that right now. Yep. Its speed is still higher, even though we are technically over leveled. Thank you. 
So I can't stop this in any circumstances at all. There is no possible way I can actually stop this. However, during a vision, I do more damage, so it's recommended I do it. Although, for whatever reason, Charlotte's in cool off, so this sucks. I. Charla, your round would be nice right now. Your round would be nice right now. Charlotte, are you using it? Black Matter on Dumb Man's Solid Control. Thank you. Heal round. Sheesh. So, yeah, this is a very exhausting fight, and it's one of the longest in the game for a reason. Titan Laser 7. Don't even have the shield for that, but man, that's annoying. Okay, he missed all of us. We're good. He has Berserk right now, which is a very dangerous status condition. Go Blade. Headshot. Chaos Slash. Use gun drones on tower four so we can actually do more damage. Chain four, okay. It's almost there, it's a fourth of wave there before it's dead. You can't rid of this of haste to build this yet until you use main auto art, so you have no choice. Oh crap, I got targeted. That's not good. Mega flamethrower. Well, that's totally gonna kill Dumban. No, Charlotte, he'll round to be lovely. Woodley Slash! There we go! I was wanting to get this out of the way. The Infinity Coin is way too worth it not to miss, so I'd rather get that. Look at this chest and see what's in it. Combat Boots gives you an experience up 3 gem naturally. So, very good to get one of these. This is actually very hard to find, so yeah, pretty much. In terms of understanding of what the reason is for the whole Camelot thing on this entire thing, it's because outright that... I think in the original there was a unique monster hidden here. There it is! Sinful Lamrock. Lamrock was, I think, the son of Lancelot. He has a natural spike, so keep an eye out. Because of that, however, because of that, he does not have a topple spike. There we go, the last of any coin in this area. This one contains Jaws of Death. Oh. Okay, I think that art book is for Dumb Ben, which is a very weird art. It only activates when he's incapacitated, but it increases his physical damage afterwards, and the HP he gets is bigger. The more you put into the art, Maximum will actually heal him near all the way, so I'd recommend that art book. Only if you want to. To be perfectly honest, I probably don't use it. So we're done with that. We're done with pretty much everything else in Agaritha. I think I'm going to end this off as soon as I get back there. And next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, let's confront Engel finally and see if we can convince him to stop his revenge. See you all next time.